Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Nuggets News. And today I'm excited to be covering a project you guys have been requesting for a while, and that's Cardano. Now, I certainly held off sharing my thoughts on this one for a while. When it had an over $30 billion valuation without a fully functioning blockchain, I was really hesitant to cover this, and I thought there was way too much FOMO. But that's since come out of the market. They've made some good progress, and I'm really excited to share my thoughts on this one with you guys today. So Cardano is actually named after a mathematician from the 1500s, Girolamo Cardano, and the currency as well. Ada Lovelace was a a female mathematician in the 1800s. Now, this one was established by Charles Hoskinson back in 2015, where he made the move from Ethereum, where he was the CEO and one of the co-founders. Now, Cardano is really split into three pillars. We've got the Cardano uh, Foundation, and these guys are based in Switzerland. They're the community-focused entity. We've got IOHK, Input Output Hong Kong. They're the science and engineering responsible for producing the technology and the software behind Cardano. And then we've got Emergo, and these guys are the venture capitalists. You can think of them as assisting startups, um, helping them build on top of Cardano, business development, and all that sort of thing. Now, Cardano is actually a lot older than people think. So it rose to fame in 2017 during that ICO boom, like a lot of projects, but the token sale itself started back in uh, September 2015. So over 95% of those ADA holders were Japanese, and that's certainly been one of the countries that they'll be targeting most uh, for adoption. So Cardano itself is a third generation blockchain. So we have Bitcoin, that first generation, which is just our basic ledger. Then we had Ethereum adding some computation, some smart contracts, and Cardano is trying to um, further that with scientific research, peer review, um, a number of other functionalities which we'll get into. But it really is that scientific philosophy that they're trying to say is their point of difference. We'll talk about the Ouroboros proof of stake mechanism and that Deodalus uh, wallet where you can run your dApps. So Cardano is broken down into a couple of layers and we'll get into the reasons of why this is so um, efficient. So the Cardano settlement layer is where we have our accounts, balances and transactions and this does use UTXOs the same as Bitcoin. So unspent transaction outputs rather than Ethereum that uses uh, accounting. So the Cardano computational layer, this is the second layer, the control layer where we have our smart contracts where all that Um, computing is taking place to run the dApps and so on. Now, further down the line, like a lot of projects, they want to scale and have side chains um, and all sorts of features which we will dive into. So Ouroboros is that proof of stake mechanism and this is broken down into slots and we have our slot leaders, um, epochs and this is done through verifiable randomness. Now there's talk of being able to delegate in the future but proof of stake, if you want more detail about what this is, check out that video I did, proof of work um, versus proof of stake but we're going to talk about how this works a little bit more later in the video. Now, the second thing that sets Cardano apart is that peer review process. And we've seen all sorts of bugs creep into major blockchains, even literally last minute before upgrades we saw on Ethereum the other day, bugs and vulnerabilities get picked up. So the hope is that through peer review, scientific review, formal verification, that we can develop a higher standard of code. And there's going to be less bugs and vulnerabilities uh, going forward. You're outsourcing to the wisdom of the crowd before implementing changes. Now, Cardano, one of the issues they've faced is using Haskell and Plutus as their coding language. Like a lot of projects, there's not a hell of a lot of developers that are familiar with how to program on Cardano. So there's been a big focus on running workshops and getting out there into the community. And they're targeting having 10,000 developers familiar with this uh, by 2020. And they've put out their Plutus playground, a test bed for developers to come and have a play. Now, they've had a real focus on adoption in Africa, and they recently signed an agreement with the Ethiopian government to introduce blockchain in agri-tech. We've seen projects that have made that effort to get out there, Dash, Nano, they've gained adoption in individual countries, and this is fantastic for Cardano to see because we do have that multi-functionality of the Cardano unit. It can just be a currency as well as that second layer where we're going to do all our smart contracts and computation. Now, if you're lucky enough, you may have picked up a Cardano debit card that were available for a limited period of time in Korea. And there's already Cardano users uh, out there in the community. 
but they will be launching more debit cards in the future. So if anyone has picked up one of these, let me know in the comments below if you do use that. Now their wallet, the Light wallet, the Yori wallet, is probably the way to go um, if you're just a beginner user of this and you can put it in that Google Chrome extension and have a play around with that. But it is the um, Daedalus wallet, which we'll get to in just a second, which is the main focus. Now they have had um, paper wallet capability, but again, they want to improve all this. It really has been just the basics that they've been doing so far. And they have been like a lot of projects a little bit behind schedule and haven't been without their issues. So let me know if you've downloaded the Daedalus wallet. Um, did it sync? Was it slow? Because there has been a lot of people um, have issues with this, but they're starting to get to that point where they're gonna iron out a lot of these bugs. And that's why I'm doing this video update today because I believe the future is gonna be pretty bright. If you do download this, guys, as always, make sure you go into the um, official website, daedalus.io. And as I said before, there's hope that you'll be able to um, stake just from this wallet and earn those rewards um, fairly soon. Now, it hasn't been without its issues, as I just said, and the Cardano Foundation did say goodbye to its chairman. So the community, um, Emergo and IHK, did write an open letter. They weren't happy with Michael Parsons, the chairman. He wasn't pulling his weight, maybe had some conflicts of interest. And he did step down. So this caused a little bit of um, fear at the time, but I certainly think that all three of those pillars um, are back on the right track now. Um, well done to Cardano. This could have been a lot bigger of a mess, but it looks that they've sorted this one out and the foundation um, is back on track now. Charles Hoskinson did do a video about what happened if you want to check that one out. So now we get to the roadmap. And if you head to cardanoroadmap.com, you can check out the different stages. So that first stage, Byron, it really was just that um, bootstrapping, that basic era where they did have the wallet. Again, it was a little bit buggy, very centralized. We had IOHK basically running a lot of these nodes. Um, but now we're out of that stage and we are into Shelly, uh, where they're gonna decentralize Cardano. And if you scroll down here, you can see what has been completed and what they're still working on. And this is one of the better, more detailed uh, websites to go to to check out um, what is happening in that research stage. So Ouroboros, that delegation that we spoke about. So if you wanna have your wallet offline and you've got 10 friends and one of them wants to keep their wallet online, you can all um, pull your stake and delegate who you wanna earn those rewards. Multi-sig transactions, quantum resistance is a hot topic. Um, human friendly addresses so if you want to send a payment to Nuggets News rather than have to remember my long string of letters and numbers wallet accounts state pools we just mentioned ledger wallet support is a big one so if you've got a treasure out there you might have at, um, added Cardano but a lot of people do have this ledger and it's this basic hardware wallet support which is so important and one of the things that's really off-putting when we have these cryptocurrencies valued at billions of dollars yet they still haven't bought basic built basic hardware wallet support. So I'm really excited for that Ledger wallet to support to get over the line. I believe that's gonna be another huge positive for Cardano. Those debit cards, which we touched on, more efficient block synchronization, paper wallets version two, as I just touched on, and you can check out other details there. Phase three is where it starts to heat up though. This is where we have smart contract development, uh, side chains, and um, accounting mode. So this is known as Goguen, if I've pronounced that one correctly, let me know. And then further down the line, we've got Basho. This is all about um, improvement of performance, security, and scalability. And then further down the line, uh, Voltier, which is more about ensuring the longevity of Cardano with treasury and governance and how we can fund this project uh, long-term. Now, one of the things we just mentioned was these stake pools and Cardano can be incredibly efficient running off as little as a Raspberry Pi like device for a few dollars. Now we know that um, Cardano is going to have really low fees and you know with, they're talking about one or two cents so we should be looking at rewards of around three or four percent um, for staking which is pretty attractive for such a large cap coin and kind of in line with a lot of the predictions for when Ethereum moves to proof of stake as well. Now recently there's a great video done um, by Philper if you want to check this one out, talking about how efficient Cardano could be, particularly if we have a lot of these Raspberry Pis um, and really light, 
um, I think you can think of this as light computing supporting the network through proof of stake. So could it be a thousand times more energy efficient than Bitcoin? Look, Bitcoin has proof of work for a reason. It's the most secure chain. So I don't want to downplay the importance of proof of work, but I think we're going to find out that there's only room for one or maybe two proof of work chains. And proof of stake is where a lot of other projects are researching right now. And Cardano is paving the way there. Um, and it, very ambitious with some things which I'll touch on at the end as well. So finally, I want to talk about that Daedalus wallet. And if they do get this going, guys, where you can stake from your wallet, it's going to have multi-currencies, um, built-in dApps. It is going to be one of the most advanced cryptocurrencies in the world. Now, let's talk about price. As I said at the start of the video, Cardano ran from a few cents to a dollar forty in a matter of a few weeks. And you've got to know when you... If you didn't get in early, there's no point FOMOing and chasing something. And that was my message um, to my followers that I'm going to reserve my judgments until they've got more to show. And like a lot of projects now, Cardano is a year behind schedule. Now, I'm not saying that in a negative um, way. Every project is a year behind schedule. This code has, has taken a lot longer to ship than many people thought. Now, recently, I did have some orders at $0.10, cents, $0.07, cents, and $0.04. Cents. So I think my average price is around $0.06 cents for Cardano now. And this is what we call accumulating in crypto winter, guys. It's gone sideways. I think it's carving out a base. I'm really happy with my Cardano bags now. And I think the future is bright. I think that Shelly update, once they're implemented, is going to garner a lot of excitement uh, and attention, particularly if they build those inroads in specific countries. So, what, what summary, putting this all together, summarizing, I think the 3 p model is, is really great. It's setting them um, apart from a lot of other projects. I think they're facing stiff competition from Ethereum. EOS, NEO, you know, all these platforms that are fighting for developers to come and build dApps on top of them. A lot of what they're doing is really ambitious. You know, long term, they're talking about sharding and side chains, all this technology that is yet to fully be proven, but that peer review process is hopefully putting them um, on the cutting edge as much as any other project. So let me go know what you guys think about Cardano. If you've enjoyed this video, smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, share these videos around, and thanks for tuning in, guys. Cheers.